Parsons Chair, President and CEO Carrie Smith has been appointed Chair of Executive Mosaics 4x24 Group 1 Leadership. For more information on joining the 4x24 Executive Leadership Series, or to become a member of Carrie Smith's group, email info at executivemosaic.com. While the United States possesses a robust technological ecosystem, intelligence community leaders argue that outdated acquisition processes are getting in the way of rapid innovation. Learn more about how senior executives are reforming IC acquisition during the Intelligence Acquisition, Strategies, Priorities and Opportunities panel at the Potomac Officers Club's 9th Annual Intel Summit on September 21. The National Science Foundation has started soliciting proposals for the fourth competition of the National Artificial Intelligence Research Institute's program and expects to make up to five awards in fiscal years 2024 and 2025. Matthew Moshier, Director of Financial Planning and Analysis for Lido's Defense Group, has been promoted to a Corporate Vice President position. The Department of Energy has indicated its intent to extend by six months the ordering period for its Information Administration Omnibus Procurement Vehicle to give DOE more time to complete a follow-on contract. FCN, a Maryland-based woman-owned small business and a certified Cisco partner, will provide products catalog to the Internal Revenue Service CIO, under a five-year, $388 million task order. Defense electronics maker TSS Solutions hired former L3 Harris Finance Director Chris Franck, as Chief Financial and Administrative Officer. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers has awarded nine companies positions on a potential seven-year, $200 million contract to provide the service branch with architect and engineering construction support services. Digital Twins Forum on November 1, 2023. Visit executivebiz.com slash events. Three contractors will continue delivering maintenance, repair and operations products to military service branches, as part of a potential $100 million award from the Defense Logistics Agency.